Welcome to Tour of my isopod tank and care tips. Log number one. Log number two. Log number three. Log number four. Log number five. Log number six with a little isopod inside. For my substrate I just use regular soil mixed in with the natural soil from my garden. I also put in dead leaves off my houseplants for them to eat. They can eat most decaying organic matter. Terrarium moss. They like hiding in it. Carrots for food. I'm sure most don't have it, but Snake shed is a great source of nutrients for your little bean buddies. I won't show it, but if you have a small animal like a small rat, a gecko, or a small type of snake, you can use their poop and they will eat it. I like giving them opportunities to climb, but mostly they don't use it, so it isn't a necessary thing, but I've seen them use it a few times. Isopods can be great pets for children due to their ease of care, and they have no capable way of hurting anyone. They don't need any special equipment. Just a six-quart tub or five-gallon aquarium. You can get their food from outside, which is easy. I recommend them as beginner pets, but you should know that you should get info from other sources too. And this is just the information once gotten myself from keeping these intriguing little bean bugs.